I looked, and behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with flashing lightning and a brightness around it, and out of the middle of it, as it were, glowing metal, out of the middle of the fire. Out of its center came the likeness of four living creatures. These were their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Everyone had four faces, and each one of them had four wings. Their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a cow's foot, and they sparkled like burnished brass. They had the hands of a man under their wings, on their four sides, and the four of them had their faces and their wings this way. Their wings were joined one to another. They didn't turn when they went. Each one went straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they had the face of a man, and the four of them had the face of a lion on the right side, and the four of them had the face of an ox on the left side. The four of them also had the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. Their wings were spread out above. Two wings of each one touched another and two covered their bodies. Each one went straight forward. Where the spirit was to go, they went. They didn't turn when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches. The fire went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and lightning went out of the fire. The living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now as I saw the living creatures, behold, one wheel on the earth besides the living creatures for each of the four faces of it. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like a barrel. The four of them had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel within a wheel. When they went, they went in their four directions. They didn't turn when they went. As for their rims, they were high and dreadful. And the four of them had their rims full of eyes all around. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Wherever the spirit was to go, they went. There was the spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up beside them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. When those went, these went, and when those stood, they stood, and when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up beside them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. Over the head of the living creature there was the likeness of an expanse, like the awesome crystal to look on, stretched out over their heads above. Under the expanse were their wings straight, the one toward the other. Each one had two which covered on this side, and everyone had two which covered on that side their bodies. When they went, I heard the noise of their wing like the noise of great waters, like the voice of the Almighty, a noise of tumult, like the noise of an army. When they stood, they let down their wings. Above the expanse that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone, and on the likeness of the throne was a likeness as the appearance of a man on it above. I saw as it were glowing metal, as the appearance of fire within it all around. From the appearance of his waist and upward, and from the appearance of his waist and downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and there was brightness around him. As the appearance of the rainbow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness all around. 
this was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard the voice of the one that spoke. He said to me, Son of man, stand on your feet and I will speak with you. The Spirit entered into me when he spoke to me and set me on my feet, and I heard him who spoke to me. He said to me, Son of man, I send you to the children of Israel, to a nation of rebels, who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. Go to them of the captivity of the children of your people and speak to them and tell them, Thus says the Lord, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Then the Spirit lifted me up and I heard behind me the voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the Lord from his place. I heard the noise of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another, and the noise of the wheels beside them, even the noise of a great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit, and the Lord's hand was strong on me. Then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Aviv, that lived by the river Sheba, and to where they lived, I sat there overwhelmed among them seven days. And at the end of the seven days, the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, I have made you a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word from my mouth, and give them warning for me. Then I looked and see, in the expanse that was over the head of the cherubim, there appeared above them, as it were, a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. He spoke to the man clothed in linen, and said, Go in between the whirling wheels, even under the cherub, and fill both your hands with coals of fire from between the cherub, and scatter them over the city. He went in as I watched. Now the cherubim stood on the right side of the house, when the man went in, and the cloud filled the inner court. Glory mounted up from the cherub, and stood over the threshold of the house, and the house was filled with the cloud, and the court was full of the brightness. The sound of the wings of the cherubim was heard even to the outer court at the voice of God Almighty when he speaks. It came to pass when he commanded the man clothed in linen, saying, Take fire from between the whirling wheels and from between the cherubim that he went in and stood beside the wheel. The cherub stretched out his hand from between the cherubim to the fire that was between the cherubim and took of it and put it into the hands of him who was clothed in linen who took it and went out. There appeared in the cherubim the form of a man's hand under their wings. I looked, and behold, four wheels beside the cherubim, one wheel beside one cherub, and another wheel beside another cherub. And the appearance of the wheels was like a barrel stone. As for the appearance, the four of them had one likeness, like a wheel within a wheel. When they went, they went in their four directions. They didn't turn as they went, but to the place where the head looked, they followed it. They didn't turn as they went. Their whole body, and their backs, and their hands, and their wings, and the wheels were full of eyes all around, even the wheels that the four of them had. As for the wheels, they were called in my hearing, the whirling wheels. Everyone had four faces. The first face was the face of the cherub, and the second face was the face of a man, and the third face the face of a lion, and the fourth the face of an eagle. The cherubim mounted up. 
This is the living creature that I saw by the river Sheba. When the cherubim went, the wheels went beside them, and when the cherubim lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the wheels also didn't turn from beside them. When they stood, they stood, and when they mounted up, this mounted up with them, for the spirit of the living creature was in them.